meeting room will come to order. We are now holding a meeting of the Imperial Section FFA. Madam Vice President, are all officers at their stations? I shall call the roll of officers, determine if they're at their stations, and report back to you, Mr. President. The Sentinel. Stationed by the door. Your duties there. Do this door past many friends of the MFA. It is my duty to see that this door is open to our friends at all times and that they are welcome. I care for the meeting room and paraphernalia. I strive to keep the room comfortable and assist the president in maintaining order. The reporter. The reporter is stationed by the flag. Why by the flag? As a flag covers the United States of America, so I strive to inform the people in order that every man, woman, and child may know that the FFA is a national organization that reaches from the state of Alaska to Puerto Rico and from the state of Maine to Hawaii. The treasurer. Stationed at the emblem of Washington. Your duties there. I keep a record of receipts and disbursements just as Washington can make accounts carefully and accurately. I encourage the swing members and I strive to build up our financial standing through savings and investments. George Washington is better able to serve his country because he was financially independent. The Secretary. Stationed by the Ear of Corn. Your duties there. I keep an accurate record of all meetings and correspond with other secretaries wherever corn is grown and FFA members meet. Madam Vice President, why do you keep a plow at your station? The plow is a symbol of labor and tillage of the soil. Without labor, neither knowledge nor wisdom can accomplish much. My duties require me to assist at all times in directing the work of our organization. I preside over meetings in the absence of our president, whose place is beneath the rising sun. Why is the president so stationed? The rising sun is the token of a new era in agriculture. If we will follow the leadership of our president, we shall be led out of the darkness of selfishness and into the glorious sunlight of brotherhood and cooperation. Mr. President, all officers are at their stations. Thank you. The secretary will call the roll of members. There are numerous members and guests present, Mr. President. Thank you. <laughs> um, FFA members, why are we here? honor agricultural opportunities and responsibilities and develop those qualities of leadership which an FA member should possess. May we accomplish our purposes. I now declare this meeting uh, of the Imperial Section FFA, duly open for the transaction of business, which or attention to any matters which may be presented before. Madam Secretary, Madam Secretary do you have a record of any? Would you please? Oh, would you please first? read the first item on the agenda? Since this is the opening ceremonies contest, I have no agenda, Mr. President. Madam Secretary, do you, do, you have any record? do you have a record of any new or unfinished business which should properly come for this meeting? I have none, Mr. President. Does any member know? Does any member know? Uh, any new or unfinished didn't I say that? Before? Does any member know of any new or unfinished business which should uh, which should properly come before this which meeting? Which should properly come before this meeting? We're about to adjourn the meeting of the Imperial Section F and Bay. As we mingle with others just in our dealings, let us be diligent and labor. Courteous, and to everyone. courteous to everyone and above all, honest and fair in the game of life. Fellow F Bay members and no. Fellow members and guests. Fellow members and guests, join me in the salute. Declare this meeting adjourned.